Aries. How are you? I hope you are doing fantastic, Aries, since the last time we met. Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I'm very grateful to have you. Oh, I'm going to itch. Sorry, Aries. Um, thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed to the channel. I very much appreciate you. This is going to be a message, simply put, who is coming towards you and what? do they want what business do they have coming towards aries okay we're going to take a look see what comes out for you aries if this does not resonate please check your other placements check your other readings as well and see if other messages resonate more for you i hope you are feeling good today aries spirit please guide and protect me as i channel the messages that Aries needs to know. Who is coming towards the sign of Aries? Who's coming towards Aries? Whatever comes out, hopefully we get some good energy. But you never know with the tarot. <laughs> Who is coming towards Aries? And what do they want with Aries? Who is coming towards you, Aries? The Hierophant. The Six of Cups. The Wild Card. The Hanged One. The Ten of Wands. Tell me about Aries. Who's coming towards you, Aries? Six of Swords. Nine of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Nine of Wands. Three of Swords. King of Swords. Mm, death card. Somebody could have cut you off impulsively in the past here, Aries. You felt like this was a struggle. You felt like this was chaos. You felt like this connection was a burden. This is who's coming towards you. It is a past person. We do have the Six of Cups here and the Hierophant. This could be somebody who you was committed to in the past. Somebody from your past who you was committed to, connected to. This is somebody who you completed some sort of cycle with. I do feel like this person is having some sort of second thoughts or change of heart in terms of um, the past. If this person blamed you or if this person put, put the burden on you or made you shoulder the majority of the reason as to why this connection ended, I do see them trying to change perspective and take on some accountability. With the Six of Swords and the Nine of Swords, they do feel worried that you've moved on, okay? There's a person here who feels like you've maybe moved on, and they're worried about coming towards you. Six of Swords, please. Six of Pentacles. They could think that you're giving to another situation and you're going to be disinterested with the Four of Cups. Tell me more. The Chariot card, yeah, this person thinks you're long gone. This person thinks that you've distanced yourself, that you're moving on. They feel like they put you through too much with the Nine of Wands. Tell me about this Hierophant. <clears throat> the Five of Cups. Whatever this commitment was, was a disappointment to you. That's how you'll know who this is. This is somebody who disappointed you within a union or a commitment, the King of Cups. Nine of Wands. You felt like trying to love this person was hard. With the Nine of Wands, the King of Cups, it's like you tried to put your best foot forward in terms of your emotions. And maybe what you got was very unsure energy. Somebody could have been indecisive about you, Aries. Tell me about the world. The Ace of Pentacles. They are coming in for a new beginning with the Fool and the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you, this could be a Pisces. We have Scorpio energy here. We have Cancer energy here. They're, they're coming in to offer you an Ace of Pentacles. And the Wheel of Fortune is sticking out there. This person wants a second chance at, you know, doing something here. We've kind of touched upon why, but let's try and get a bit more about the why. Why are they coming towards you? I can see this person's trying to shoulder some sort of accountability now. The Four of Pentacles, because they haven't let you go. Person hasn't let you go. 
Princess of Pentacles, yeah. This is a person who wants to come in and have something lighthearted to start off with. The offer that they're coming in with, I mean, the Ace of Pentacles is here, but we've also got a Princess of Pentacles. This person doesn't want to scare you off because they do feel like you, you may have moved in another direction already. And this is a person who wants to pitch it right. They don't want to get it wrong. Don't want to make a mistake. So they're going to come in very lighthearted and small to start with. Tell me why. Princess of Cups, yeah. Again, there's the small admission of feelings, small admission of affection, emotion, small admission of peace offering, olive branch. That's what I'm getting with the Four of Pentacles. They've definitely not let you go. They're holding on to you, whether you realise it or not. Death card, the world. Yeah, something's ended and it's bringing you into a new cycle. The fool is here as well. This person's leaping towards you. Ten of Wands in the reverse. This person wants to release the burden. See how the Ten of Wands came up here? We've got the upright in the reverse. Okay, this is a person who wants to offload. This is a person who wants to take accountability. So I like to see that. I actually like that energy. I do like that energy. I do like this, this energy. This person's willing to own up to their doing in whatever it is that you guys need to discuss about what happened in the past. The King of Wands. They're going to be taking action. The King of Wands is very action orientated. This could be a fire sign like yourself, an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius. The Hierophant towards a commitment. Hierophant energy. King of Swords. They're going to be very, very direct in their communication. But they don't want to scare you off. Tell me about this person's intentions. Queen of Cups. It's love. Knight of Wands. Very passionate towards you. Very fired up. But I feel like it's not just the passion. There is love here. Okay. There is definitely love here. With that six of cups, king of cups, this person feels very nostalgic about the past. And although they may have um, made it hard to, for, for you to kind of get through to them or for you to extend feelings to them, this person could have been guarded or been going through something. That's the reason why maybe it felt too hard to kind of get on the same page. I do see this person coming in with a love offer here. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, quick and straight to the point, that is what I have for you, Aries. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, Aries, I will see you soon. You take care. Bye.